In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new My Designs Sync feature to easily edit your live Etsy listings in bulk. This is going to make life so much easier because if you've ever wanted to add some new mockups to your listings that are already in the Etsy store, or maybe you've wanted to make some edits to the mockup, such as adding a ship's fast sign to the primary one, then you know that this is a very tedious and boring process. You have to do it one at a time and it's a lot of clicking back and forth. Now, with my designs, you can do this all in bulk and you can sync your live listings back with whatever you have in the my designs dashboard. And this doesn't just go for listings that you've published through my designs, you can even do it with Printify or Printful listings. It doesn't matter, you can still make those edits in bulk and continue using Printify or Printful as a fulfillment partner. So, a lot of things to show you right here, but it's definitely worth watching because it's going to save you a lot of time. So with this new sync feature, there's essentially two different scenarios that you might find yourself in, and I'm going to walk you through both of them. The first scenario is this right here. We already have listings within My Designs. You've got a folder that has all of the SEO and the mockups within it, and you published these listings to your Etsy store in the past. So maybe a few weeks ago, we uploaded these, but now we've decided we want to make some changes to these listings. That is scenario number one. Scenario number two is if you don't have the listings that you want to affect effect within my design. So maybe you published some listings through Printify, but now you want to make some bulk changes to those listings as well. Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the second half of this video, because you can easily import all of that data into my designs, make changes to it, and then sync it to your live listings as well. But let's focus on scenario number one. In this case, we've only got static mockups within this listing. What if we wanted to quickly add a video mockup to all of these in bulk? Well, first step is selecting all of your listings, go to quick actions, video mockups, and then obviously you want to choose as usual the files that you want to be included in the video, then hit submit and that will add the job to the queue, which you can now find if you click on this bell icon right here in the top right corner, you can see all of the processing jobs. You also get a timing estimate underneath. And then once this is done processing, we're basically ready to sync these newly created video mockups back to our live listings. As you can see, every single listing has got one of these now. And the step to sync these is very simple. So we go to quick actions, bulk sync publications, just make sure you have the correct store selected, click on next. And now in this case, you can see we still need to enable the new video mockup. This at the bottom is previewing what our listing is going to look like after the sync. So what you can do as well is you can change the order of this. So if you want the video to be further towards the front, or maybe some of these info cards, if you want to have them in a different place, you can change the order as well. And that will be synced along with the other changes. Because in this case, we didn't actually affect the title description or tags, those stay the same. So we can click on the X symbols right here, because those don't need to be synced, then we want to click on next down here which gives us a quick final preview. And then we can hit sync in the bottom right corner. And now as you can see, this is processing again, and syncing of the mockup changes back to Etsy. So for scenario number two, I've got some example listings right here within this demo Etsy store, I want to make changes to the mockups and the listing SEO. However, these listings are not within my my designs dashboard. What to do in this case? Well, first of all, you need to head to the listings tab and create a new folder, you want to give it a relevant name. So I'll call this one camping shirts, and then click add. Now I'll select that folder right here from the options and click open in the bottom right corner. And now if you have my designs connected with the Etsy shop, you can go to upload import listings, then select the correct shop from the drop down. And then you have got a few options right here, you can either filter through different sections of your shop, you can also select whether you want active draft expired listings, etc. And then you've got select all visible on the right as well as clear all. So in my case, the easiest thing rather than clicking through this manually would be to go to sections, camping shirts, and then select all visible. Next, you need to click on import listings. And then within a few seconds, those should be imported, including all of the mock ups, as you can see, and the listing data as well, which is purposely very rubbish for these example listings. So the first thing I'm going to do is quickly amend this listing data and optimize it. So let's go to select all of these 
Then quick actions, Vision AI. They've just released a new model right here as well. Uh, My Designs or MD2. I'm going to go to product features and type in 3001 to make this description optimized for the correct product. And then let's generate the listing data right here. Yes, run Vision AI. And now we'll have a better title, tags, and description generated based on the primary mockup right here. So there we go. The listing data has been changed. What about the mockups though? So I want to make quite a few changes here. I want to, first of all, add a couple of cards that talk about the return policy and also show some reviews. And to import new mockups or external mockups to this very quickly you can go to upload upload files to multiple listings you choose the correct file slot right here so ideally an empty one and then you can drag and drop or click on that to select it from your drive i'm going to drag and drop one of these cards right here and upload it there we go and now that's been added to all of these listings let's do the same again so upload file to multiple listings and i'm going to drag and drop the next card into this hit upload again and there we go that's been added as well so customers lovers just some additional mockups right here or informational cards you could call them that will help with conversions and now final thing i want to do is add a fast shipping badge to all of these primary mockups to grab the customer's attention to get more click throughs and that is another thing we can do in bulk with my designs so again make sure you've got everything selected then head over to the canvas system you can find it here on the left you can find all the tools on the left by the way or and the quick actions drop down the canvas is at the bottom right here now we need to head over to templates and custom size now the size of these mockups is 2000 by 1500 so we need to create a canvas with that size so we can then click add listing file add to all there we go the mock-up has been imported we just need to go to position and hit fit to add board there we go that should align it properly and make it stretched out to the edges right here and we can now right click and sync this so that the alignment carries over to all of the other mockups as well for all the other listings. And now let's add the fast shipping badge, which we can find in the elements tab right here. So if we type in fast and hit enter, you've got a bunch of options, fast shipping, ships fast, circle, or a rectangle. Obviously you can also create these yourself externally within Photoshop and then upload them with this tab right here. Or you could also use Dream AI potentially to generate some AI art that you then kind of add to this mockup. But let's go back to elements and use this right here fast chipping or drag it down into the bottom left corner right here so it doesn't cover up the actual design and by the way you can also still change the colors so uh, if you click on this up here colors then because this is a vector file you could amend the color to anything you want to fit your branding or maybe to stand out a different way with like a bright pink bright yellow or something like that and um, you've got a color picker as well so that is another option that you've got. And don't forget to right click onto this box and sync it to all the other mockups as well. There we go. Double check it's not covering up any of the designs. That all looks fine. There we go. Now let's click on save. Change the file slot right here to the first mockup so that actually gets overwritten. We can save it as editable as well in case we want to make changes to it in future. And then click save right here. Yes, override all files. And that job is once again being added to the queue. Very, very quick right here. And there we go. We've got the updated mockups right there we go now it's a case of going back to quick actions bulk sync publications clicking on next right here and then we want to make sure that first of all all the mockups are selected at the top the ones that we've added as well right here they're included we can once again change the order if needed and then also the title description and tags have changed so those definitely have to be enabled right here and then if we click on next and hit sync then once again that is being updated on our Etsy store in the background. And if I refresh this page right here, you can see everything has changed. Let's open one of these up. We've got the different title SEO right here. The description is filled in and we've got the new mockups added too. That was super easy, super quick. And especially if you're working with hundreds of listings, this is a massive game changer. If you want to learn how to use my designs to start selling print-on-demand products on Shopify, then make sure to check out this video next.